iDubs, uh, and I'm sure everybody already knows this, but iDubs had his Creator Clash 2 thing, right? Uh, everyone, every, I, I talked about this. I talked about some of the drama that he was going through. And part of that drama was that a creator named Froggy Fresh was kicked from the platform. And there was a lot of speculation as to why, because iDubs did not put out a statement as re in regards to why. He just said that he was kicked off. Now, this was weeks ago. And then the event happened. Chris Raygun was beaten and humiliated by a much bigger black man that, for whatever reason, Anisa had selected to be Froggy Fresh's replacement. And uh, iDubs was left. Um, I, uh, iDubs lost. And then the event ended, right? And then everyone forgot about it immediately. And weeks after Creator Clash 2 has ended, I think at least a full week, iDubs, for whatever reason, has put out another video. And let me get the title. Actually, I didn't write down the title of the video. I think it's just called, like, Addressing the Froggy Fresh Controversy or something. Yes, the Froggy Fresh Drama, not the Controversy. So that that's what he went with. He decided to drop this on, on, uh, on YouTube. And the re response to this has been overwhelmingly negative. It's like you came back. And you were a pawn in some game of uh everyone has said this is shit and i have time stamped all this i've gone through it like at least two or three times now and i have my my points ready to go so let me get set up and we'll just watch it i'm sure everyone's watched this but i i kind of the thing is that it's like so schizophrenic it's kind of disjointed and i think some stuff gets lost uh in light of the other bigger stuff which gets um more attention because of how just like noticeably pathetic it is. Uh, one second. Sure. VLC. Is this going to work? Yes. Okay. Oops. It's not what I wanted. All right. Here we go. 38 you seconds. Guys are here for the juice and the grease. So I'm going to give you guys the grease and the juice. Uh, and that all has to do with Froggy Fresh. The reason I didn't address any of this sooner is because I was terrified of jeopardizing the success of the event because there are a lot more people involved in this than just Anissa and I. Uh, and I didn't want to fuck it up for them. These are people that I really care about. And I felt like it would be very selfish if I was like, I understand public perception right now, guys. I'm just gonna make a quick 10 minute video and I'll squash all the rumors, I'll squash all the beef. I have no idea what public perception for this video is going to be. That's why I'm doing it now, right? Is it that? So I think that he starts off the video, like his, his explanation for why he waited is probably the strongest part of the video. So what you just heard is what I consider to be the uh, the the strongest that this video is, which says a lot about how bad it is. And that's in light of the fact that he looks like he does. He has a he has like I don't even know how to describe his hair. I think most men who would have his hair would simply shave it off instead of allowing it to be whatever the fuck this is. It's kind of like Trevor from GTA, it's a little bit more full in the front, and it just looks like long tendrils of greasy hair, like like little itty bitty, like long slender fingers of hair curling off in random directions. It's genuinely terrible, and it's been like this for a while because he's been growing it out. I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. I don't know why he's doing this to himself. I don't know if he's just like afraid of his bald spot, like his hairline re receding, so he has to like cover it up no matter what. And this is just, he believes that this is better than just being completely shaved like a skinhead. I, and, and like with the 80s porn sesh, I really don't know what the fuck he's doing to himself. But, um, I'm not really trying to be a, a, uh, what do, you, what do you call it? A stylist here. I'm just trying to get through the video. It's leading you in any way. I think a lot of the content I've made has been irresponsible and misguided. 
and I think I've hurt a lot of people with the content I've made. Uh, you know, despite many people being entertained by it, you know, I'm not trying to take that away from you. If you feel like you've learned important lessons or you have grown as a person because of the content I've made, I don't want to take that away from you. With some good can come a lot of bad. And I think I've done a lot of bad. And, uh, you know, at the bare minimum, I've just put a lot of negativity out there in the world. And I'm working on not doing that. So, it, um, that's sort of, a, I mean, he's kind of said this before in so many different ways in like his other videos, but he effectively like denounces his entire library of content and what uh, allowed him to achieve like internet celebrity status to begin with. And he's sort of walking this tightrope where you can really hear the deliberation in his head as he tries to get this out. He wants to simultaneously denounce all his content and everything he's ever done while also not deliberately provoking the people who who are his fans. He doesn't want to like piss off all his old fans and have them fuck with him forever and ever like they do with other people. Like other jaded fans will typically fuck with like uh, a YouTuber that they don't like anymore, don't like anymore with like this intense fervor. And he's really trying to avoid that. Um, but I don't think he does a very good job of it. And then uh, to, to any of it, I don't want to detract from what the focus is. And the focus is kicking Froggy Fresh from the Creator Clash card. The main reason Froggy was kicked from the card was for collaborating with Sam Hyde. And this right out the gate just opens up saying it was Sam Hyde. And he has empowered Sam so much. He has given sam hyde so much power over him by just saying that and, and on one hand it's kind of if it was handled differently it would probably be smart to just say it was sam hyde and to not lie about it but on the other hand he really has just given sam hyde like a golden trophy saying you have completely dominated me i am i am now um subservient to you and my actions are tailored around trying to avoid you whenever possible really really interesting move and, here you know for anyone who's been following the story that's you know fairly obvious uh, froggy has explained uh you know his side of the story multiple times and uh, unfortunately he's been perpetuating a narrative that it's about only fans or that it's about anisa's mom and it, that's extremely deceptive because he knows why he was kicked from the card. The one indication I gave him was Sam Hyde, and I, I wasn't unclear about that. Anyone who's mentioning the fact that Harley trained with Sam Hyde for the year previous, uh, that was before Sam was saying this about my wife. Okay, so uh, he goes on, he makes it, like he, he clarifies, it's not because of the jokes. It's not because you argued with Anissa's mother. It has nothing to do with anything that you did. It has everything to do with the fact that you associated with Sam Hyde and you, and, and I'll explain later what exactly he did with Sam Hyde that pissed items off so much. But then he goes on, and this is one of the most baffling things in the entire video. I guess that he really wants to make his point that his grievances with Sam Hyde are legitimate in his mind. And, um, but his way of going about that is just to let Sam Hyde, even th by proxy, uh, by c playing his clips, completely dominate his video. So get ready to see Idubs dominate himself in a second. I don't think so, Anissa. Bitch. Ho. Fucking Anissa. What an ugly piece of shit. But look how, look how beat she is. Oh, nice jack-o'-lantern teeth. That's like a I can't wait to see what she looks like when she's 32. Her teeth look like a, like a pumpkin head. Like... It's the Anissa Joma hole stretcher. I'm sending this to Anissa's OnlyFans. It goes directly into charity. Yeah. Everybody hates him and his wife's a slut. So yeah, now that this guy is on the daily insulting my wife, I think it's pretty fair to, you know, not want to associate with him in any way. We did ban Sam from the first event, so it's not as if he's confused about where he stands in all this. Uh, I don't like him. And, and Froggy knows that. Froggy knows that I don't like him. Of course, that's why he was banned. You know, none of this is like news to Froggy. Froggy knew all of this going into it. I feel like, now for, for various reasons, I wouldn't agree with this, but I feel like 
that's an okay point to make. Give me and give me some leeway with this. If you his whole thing now is his boxing event is like a family friendly, super PG. Everyone has a good old gosh darn time, and we all know what a problem Sam Hyde is. So if there's any Sam Hyde related associations, you can't be in the event in particular because of how he's harassing my wife. I feel like. If you want to just say that and get that out there and be like, I don't like Sam Hyde, I don't like anybody who likes Sam Hyde, and anybody who's around Sam Hyde is not around me, allowed around me or my event. I think if you just want to lay that out there and make that known and not play any games, I think you're within your right to do that. So the 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 real issue is after that point, um, what Froggy actually did to piss him off in regards because the, the Sam Hyde thing is not in the contract, so they had to kind of tell him you, you can't you can't like if you're going to train with Sam Hyde you can't publish Sam Hyde content and I'll just let him explain um, in a second. Then I skip ahead to five for and I and I will explain further why what I would say the distinction between like what he's trying to say now versus like how he actually effectuated that with froggy fresh is different I thought it was quite the gift to you that we'd kick you off the card you have no more obligations and you can immediately just pivot into boxing for misfits it's like that's the culture that you want you want the the non-sissy you want the macho dude traditional boxing culture so go over there and box for them you don't even have to miss that many months of training you you've been training so hop on one of those cards. But unfortunately, Froggy doesn't want to hop on one of those cards because he thinks the uh, skill level is too high. So this is very petty. Uh, Misfits is like the competitor to Creator Clash. It's like YouTube oriented, but it's much more like traditional boxing where you have like, you know, the kayfabe arguments and grudges and shit like that. And I, I guess he would consider it trashier. It's like the Jerry Springer to his Maury Povich. Uh, Jerry Springer is so trashy, and Maury Povich is like a real, real stand-up guy. So uh, I, 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 I consider this one of the weakest parts of his entire video because he's he's trying to be the better man, but he's also dumping on this competitor event for literally no reason except the fact that. Um, Froggy Fresh would want to be on it instead of Creator Clash. I, I, this is like the most baffling thing. I don't know why he decided to include this. In my opinion, I think the talent at Misfits and Happy Punch is in a different league that is out of my league. In case you're only listening, this is clips of uh, Boogie and Wings of Redemption um, training because they're having a boxing match. And I guess they're saying like, oh, they're not professional boxers. So ha ha, silly them. But it's like, it's really impressive that Keemstar has managed to wrangle these people into this agreement to begin with. Obviously, they're not professional boxers. That's the point. People just want to see two fatties beat each other up. So bizarre, bizarre to include this at all. And this feels like something that someone would edit in. But this is a point that IWs is trying to make himself. And then right here is down. You stop. I mean, come on. It goes, it turns quickly from boxing to assault. Just fight someone who's weaker than you. So I'm not, I'm done with boxing. I can fulfill my current obligations if for some reason. And then he just puts a, a clown emoji over him. It's just, it's just really bizarre. I have no idea what he's going for trying to say like the talent over there is, it's, it's so petty. It's so fucking stupid and petty. Anymore. It's like, come on. If you look at my text exchange with Froggy, it's very clear that I didn't want to kick him from the card. I got to the point where I was like, okay, I don't want you working or training with Sam Hyde, but you're doing that, so all right, I'll look past it. I don't want you making content with Sam Hyde, but it seems like that's a real deal breaker for you, so I guess I'll look past it. It came to the point where I was like, can you postpone releasing content with Sam Hyde? Look, you know me and Sam don't get along. You know. Uh, okay, I'm I'll pause it there. Um, I, I, he went real fast past those chat logs, so we're gonna slow it down, and I'm gonna read the actual chat logs. Um, so this is March 12th, and the dates are kind of important. I'll explain. Um, 
Idub says to Froggy Fresh, Hey dude, I just want to clarify that I'm not mad at you. I just wanted this event to go well, and part of that is trying to be proactive about things. I just want to find a solution. I really appreciate your friendship, and I don't want to feel like I've upset you. Froggy says, I don't understand. Can uh, I don't understand what is wrong. Can I not work with Sam Hyde? He's been very nice to me. Idubs uh, did not bother to fully extend this message, so it's truncated, but what is available says, it's just a tricky situation. I personally have been hurt by a lot of things he's done. I understand he's your friend. That's totally understandable. Uh, I just don't get along with him, and I'm afraid of having him associated with the event. There are others involved in the event that also aren't comfortable with. I'm assuming that he says Sam Hyde being there or being associated with Creator Clash. Froggy Fresh replies saying, yeah, he's my friend. I don't understand what me going to Rhode Island to work with Sam has to do with anyone who is uncomfortable with him. They don't have to see him or work with him. Idubs replies saying, I agree. Privately, what you do is absolutely only your business. But because we are running a public charity event, we have to be careful about these things because you do represent the event in some ways. I had similar issues last year. I thought, no problem, Harley. You can work with Sam Hyde. But it ended up attracting a bad crowd, and I got harassed online about it a lot because it was public display. Uh, Froggy replies saying, that's nice of you to give Harley permission to work with Sam Hyde. I didn't know I needed your permission as well. Idub says, it's not about permission. He just called and asked if I was cool with it because he was making content around it. Froggy says, so what are we actually discussing right now? If I work with Sam Hyde, are you going to prevent me from fighting in the event? Idub says, he actively makes content about wanting my marriage to end, that my wife is evil and hasn't respected my boundaries. I don't feel comfortable having him associated with the event. I'm wondering if you can under understand where I'm coming from with that. Froggy empathizes and says, I can understand the way you feel. I'm sorry about that, but also have to, you also have to understand that he is my friend. So I can't just tell him I can't be friends with him because Ian said so, or Ian said so. That's why I'm asking you, if I work with him, are you going to prevent me from fighting at Creator Clash 2? Idub says, it's not a reflection on you. It's just a very painful and difficult thing for me that I'm dealing with that. I need to keep distance from that, from, and that includes this project. Froggy says, I would just appreciate a yes or no answer, man. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to boxing practice tomorrow or not. Idub says, it kind of depends on your plan is because Sam Hyde is banned from our event. If you want him to be there, we cannot accommodate that. He says, my plan is to go to Rhode Island to hang out with him. So again, I ask, if I go to work with him, are you going to prevent me from fighting in Creator Class 2? I would appreciate a yes or no answer. I have to talk to my coach about practice this week. Idub says, wait, I'm not sure I understand. Does that mean that you aren't expecting him to be at the event? Are you going to make content together? Froggy Fresh says, uh, he has not mentioned attending the event. I don't believe he intends to do so. I have not discussed this with him. I do intend to make content with him. Now that I've answered your questions, would you be respectful enough to answer mine? Idub says, this event is really important to me, and I'm just trying to understand everything so I can make the best decision for everyone involved. I need some time to think about this because I don't want to be rash. Uh, Froggy replies again saying, so I'm going to schedule practice this week, not knowing whether or not you're allowing me to fight in the event because I'm going to hang out with someone that you don't like. Okay. Idubs again replies with a message that he leaves truncated and not left in its entirety and says, I understand while you're, I don't understand why you are talking to me like this. I am not trying to be a jerk. I explained to you the awful experiences I've had with him. It potentially leads to another year of harassment for me and Anisa. I can't take this stuff lightly. Can you guarantee that it's not going to end up affecting, I assume he continues on to say, uh, my experience with Creator Clash 2 or so on and so forth. This isn't just someone I don't like. This is someone who is dedicated to disrupting an event we're running for charity. It's harassing harassing its two main organizers and sending his fan base to do his bidding. I want you to fight. I just want you to know the pain he's caused me, Aniza, and our event. Froggy replies saying, dude, because you're trying to tell me who I can and can't be friends with, I'm going to Rhode Island to work with Sam, and I'm scheduling my practices for this week. If I'm being removed from the event, please let me know. Idubs says, now using contracted use for some reason. I never said you couldn't be friends with him. I would prefer if you just waited till after the event to post content with him. 
Froggy replies saying, yeah, that's weird. I'm not the type of person that you can just make do whatever you want or whatever is convenient for you. I have a life and a family. You're not going to change my mind. I'm going to work with him. I'm trying to cook dinner for my kids. It sounds like your personal problems are interfering with your business. Idubs replies saying, it wasn't my intention to dictate things to you. I just wanted to give you my perspective because we haven't talked about this topic before. Ultimately, it is your decision. Sorry the convo went this direction. He says, okay, I'll fight. Thanks. And then let me make sure that I'm not spoiling anything real quick. On with the next slide. Okay, I am not. Um, let me get the video back on. So that's the gist of their conversation. And he does a really poor job just like explaining what he actually wants from froggy fresh um and i he doesn't actually agree to not make content with sam so his his argument that he kicked him from the fight because he was making content with sam after agreeing not to is wrong uh so that's a bit strange um, and this, and this, this is the, the crux of it. This is what blows my mind is this is what he actually dings froggy fresh for, uh, for doing, uh, from over the years. And oh, sorry. I went to the wrong timestamp. I don't know how the fuck I did that. And guess what? Like I would, I didn't even plan on releasing none of the Sam Hyde content until after the event. If you don't know who Sam Hyde is, he's. Whether or not you love him or hate him, you have to recognize him as uh, he's the most talented comedian alive. He's the most talented comedian of our generation. He's going to probably be the greatest comedian of all time. He's insanely, he's a genius. Um, I got a chance to go out there and train with him. He welcomed me into his environment. He paid people to train me. I, would, I didn't even plan on releasing none of the Sam Hyde content until after the event. So the, the, the purpose of what he's doing there, in case you're only listening, is he juxtaposes that clip of him saying, I wasn't releasing anything until after the event with tweets. Uh, Froggy Fresh had been retweeting messages from Sam Hyde and had been talking about how Sam Hyde was very funny and so on and so forth. Not a single one of those tweets or anything that he said in relation to Sam Hyde or anything that Sam Hyde had said that he retweeted had anything to do with iDubs or anything to do with Anisa or anything to do with OnlyFans. There were no passive aggressive comments. He literally was just upset that Froggy Fresh had retweeted content from Sam Hyde's at Wigger Twitter account during the prelude to the Creator Clash fight. And that was what he considered to be collaboration tainting the event and sending his minions after uh, uh, iDubs um, in the lead up to Creator Clash. So, um, then he goes on a weird diatribe about Froggy Fresh using the words not appropriate. I did that. Well, I didn't like, I didn't like that he requested that. Also, the emoji stuff over the videos, that's something that iDubbbz is doing. I don't know why he's adding, like, clown emojis and, like, angry face emojis over videos. I don't know if that's like an epic own. I really don't understand the frame of mind in, in doing that's, that. That's not, I don't think that's appropriate. I was like, he didn't think it was appropriate. I do not think that that is appropriate. Do you think it's appropriate that, uh, I don't know, 30 something year old man is publicly calling my wife a whore and a slut? I think initially you can just buy the, you can buy that. Yeah. Yeah. And this has got a separate Etsy page where she sells her pussy. Yoko Ono was too concussed to fight in Creator Clash for the second year in a row. Life is so easy for uh, a certain gender. All you have to do is say that my uterus hurts. What'd she say this time? Her uterus hurts? Her I uterus think fell she out? I had another concussion. Probably your uterus fell out from getting blown out so much by uh, toys. Is that appropriate, Froggy? Do you think that's appropriate? I don't think that's appropriate. Okay, you don't think it's appropriate that I, I set boundaries. I don't think it's appropriate that you are hanging out with a guy who doesn't think women are people. Like, I don't think that's appropriate. So, okay, uh, this that's cringe, obviously. Um, why he would enable, again, give Sam Hyde the platform on his own channel to just completely dumpster Aniza. I, 
I feel like he really believes that everyone watching this is just going to instantly take his side and believe what he says and not question it at all. It's really, it's really bizarre. Um, then 950. I don't know why he's saying that he was planning on waiting to post Sam Hyde content. We have the Twitter timeline of him nonstop posting Sam Hyde content. It's fucking weird. I don't know if he thought it was like a loophole to post on Twitter about Sam Hyde. So I think in his head, he was like, I, I was gonna wait to post Sam Hyde content, parentheses, YouTube video. I think most people would understand that. I think, I think, um, I think most people would agree that Twitter content is like Twitter retweets are not content. Like you would expect YouTube or rumble and, uh, would not believe that t retweets would classify as content. In fact, if you asked Aniza what content is, her definition of content would actually be a lot more extreme. And I don't think that Sam Hyde and Froggy Fresh put out any kind of the content that Aniza would consider content. Um, so if you didn't want him to even retweet Sam Hyde, you probably should have been extremely explicit about that. Um, and then this is his one good jab throughout the entire video at Froggy Fresh. Like his one good gotcha. Like, cause like, it's not my problem that you have personal, that you have personal beef with the greatest comedian in the world. If I go to Providence- How am I the simp? How am I the simp? I want to know. Is it because it's a woman? It's because it's a woman, isn't it? It's okay to simp for a big gross dude. It's okay. It's understandable. He's big and he's gross. As soon as you simp for someone who's uh, literally your partner, your life partner, that's too much. That's kind of gay. If I go to Providence, Rhode Island and get an opportunity... That's pretty good. That's pretty, that's pretty fair. I, I will agree. Calling out the E-daddies, that's, that's fair. Um, but he, he can't... <laughs> He can't take his win. He gets his his jab in. He gets his little punch in at Froggy Fresh. And then he just goes, but if you don't think that sex workers are human, uh it's like, ah, oh, bro, you had to like you had to fuck it up. <laughs> you had to make it gay and cry about sex work. As if nah, we'll leave that. There's another another bit which is more appropriate for the, the sex worker shit. When you want to work with him, that should be my option to when I release that content. And it's got nothing to do with you. Not everything that people do with Sam Hyde involves iDubs, and I think that he misinterprets that. We're not talking about people. We're talking about what you do with Sam Hyde, because you're in my event. I wish there were many layers of separation, so I really could be that disconnected. Unfortunately, I have to be around you. You have to fight at my event. Uh, I have to share the same uh, space as you, you know, in the parties at the event itself, and I don't want to do that. I have no interest in sharing that space with you. So for, for him to tell me, hey, could you wait until after the event to release that? In my mind, I'm thinking, I mean, I could, but it's weird for you to tell me to do that because it's got nothing to do with you. Another thing that contributed to Froggy getting kicked was that he tweeted at Nathan Barnett. Oh, I was meant to pause there. Uh, more of that, yeah, just more guilt by association and bullshit. Um, and again, the tweets that he is complaining about did not in any way disparage Aniza or Ian. So I, I just don't get the complaint. This, by the way, uh, is very fascinating. And I will get into the timeline of this in a little AKA bit. AKA dad, he said, dude, I tried hyping you up at Denny's when we ate dinner and they said they weren't fucking with you and that you were going to lose to AB. They don't even like you. This is one of those things where it was like, Oh, okay, so you basically don't have any good intentions here. You are just like, uh, you, don't li you don't like us. So, uh, the messages between Ian and Froggy Fresh, and later on I'll show you Aniza and Froggy Fresh, is March 12th. So there was something that happened on March 12th that caused them to talk to him. And this clip, um, which I, uh, I'll show you here, what he's complaining about happened on um, 
the 24th. They went to an, a, a Denny's and they had dinner together. And apparently, Idubs and Aniza sh- shit talked um, one of the fighters, a guy named Nathan or AB or Dad. Sorry, I think I think his name is AB or Dad or Nathan. And he just told him, like on Twitter, how much Idubs and Aniza shit talked him. And in reply to this, is not a denial that this conversation happened. It was that. Froggy Fresh had made them look bad by telling this person that Anisa and Idubs had shit talked them in private at a Denny's over dinner. It was two weeks after the the big you know text happening that supposedly um, uh, was a big breaking point for them, but he doesn't deny that he actually said this about this other fighter, which kind of implies that they're setting up intentionally. Uh, unfair fights, which is kind of shitty if you're trying to host a legitimate boxing Get tournament. Fuck about him. And in the same Twitter space where Froggy says this, Sam Hyde, Froggy's hero, calls Nathan a rapist like several times. That Nathan Barnett guy, I guarantee you that guy would rape somebody if he had not, if he had the opportunity. Yeah, and legally he would rape somebody in Minecraft. By the way, in, in Minecraft. Minecraft, yes. <laughs> he he, if he had the chance to rape a woman, he would. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. No, not in, no, not in Minecraft, Keem. I don't want anything to do with Sam. I don't want anything to do with people that think what Sam is doing is okay. So, at first he says that he's the, the purpose of him playing that clip was to show that Froggy actually doesn't care about this guy because his idol, Sam Hyde, in a conversation after he had been banned from the event, made that comment. And for some reason, he decides to play this in full as a post hoc justification for kicking Froggy because the call happened as a result of Froggy being kicked off the event. And then, for whatever reason, chooses to amplify this this thing that Sam Hyde was saying that he knows is damaging to this other person. Like now, you're uh, for sure Nathan is going to hear from random people for years. Would you rape a woman if you could get away with it? And that is probably probably would have been completely forgotten about if if they just let it be. But for some reason, Idubs took this, put it into his video, and just blasted it on the internet. And now it's a thing for sure. If, if it wasn't before, it definitely is now. And it's like, are, are you like retarded? Um. So. The next two minutes are about Froggy ignoring the text, which is on the screen. Um, and uh, and that's from Anisa. And Anisa is trying to figure out why he's being hostile. And uh, that's uh, this syncs up to what I was talking about before, where these tweets or text messages where they're trying to talk to Froggy Fresh happened way before the dinner at Denny's that is brought up in the video. So clearly whatever happened was fine. They smoothed it over and they talked to each other and had dinner together and everything was okay. And then it was just the the fact that Froggy Fresh had mentioned after the fact that uh, Idubs and Anisa were making fun of him and saying that he was going to lose that did that cause an issue. Um, and yeah, here you can see this was uh, 12. The text messages from Idubs I think were also on the 12th so they had an issue they contacted him he contacted them back they squared everything out and then on the the 24th after the denny's he said something that pissed idubs off uh even though this message was deleted so i i don't know what the issue was um he doesn't even have like an actual screen cap of it he just has a notification that someone took on their phone because the message had been deleted so quickly that presumably he was not able to capture a screen a screen capture of the um of the uh, the actual tweet. So, uh, at this point, after tr- almost kind of sort of making a real point about Froggy Fresh being like hostile or trying to cause problems for him, um, he just randomly starts crying about how he ruined Anisa's life. It is not. Wait. Oh. T- uh oh. I fucked that up. I think it's 1621. Let me just say, Anissa is just trying to exist. 
you know, she doesn't want anything to do with the drama. She doesn't want anything to do with this shit. And I have brought a lot of it into her life. And I take responsibility for that. But unfortunately, a lot of people who uh, think that I've changed or call me a cuck or whatever, they, they've decided, in, instead of saying that I've changed and that I'm the, the decider of my future, it's that Anissa has changed me. So she has been the target of a lot of hate. And I think it's really shitty. And hearing Tyler talk about her in this way is just a reminder where it's like, Anissa's trying to manipulate you? What the fuck was I doing? Was I trying to manipulate you as well? Like, you should probably come out and say that uh, because it, it seems really fucking sexist and, and creepy for you to be saying these things. Why am I still getting hate? Uh, what I really love about that is there's a sort of irony in... Um, because usually this is the other way around. What Idubs is effectively doing is complaining that his agency has been stripped from him. People are talking about him like, oh, well, this is all Aniza. This was her plan. This is her idea. This is because of her. This is her fault. And he is not left in the, the public perception with the agency over his own actions. And he's calling that sexist. I guess because in his mind, people are focusing on blaming the woman over blaming the man. But usually when you have that kind of perception, it's the other way around. It's saying, oh, she changed all her interests to be, to be like that guy, to impress that guy. Oh, she's, she's faking it. She's just trying to get with him and, and seem cool to him. Like that's the, usually the comments left towards like agency in a relationship. Um, th that would be sexist in a traditional sense. But in this sense, it's like, who are they being sexist against? Is, is it sexist both ways? If a woman gets into a relationship and takes over a guy's life, and then the man loses agency because he's a pussy-whipped, spineless bitch cuckold like Idubs, then it's ra then it's sexist because you're blaming the woman for it. But on the other hand, if a woman loses agency in a relationship because she's trying to appeal to a man, then that's also sexist because you're saying that the woman doesn't have agency. It's like, uh, tone it down, big guy. I think, I think is <laughs> he's trying to say that it's sexist, but it's what he's really he's actually butt hurt because he's lost his agency uh, as far as people are concerned. So they don't talk about him like he's a real person anymore. They talk about him like he's a tumor fixed to Nisa. Let me, but I feel like, dude, honestly, it seems like so. When Ian is, as soon as he starts messing with Anisa, it's like Ian goes from the person who would be dogging people, who would sue people, to then like his event that he's running is suing people. It's like a complete flip. By the way, we weren't suing Froggy. Uh, we have no interest in going to court over $15,000. Uh, we wanted that $15,000 back, but, you know, he wasn't giving it to us. So we, we have to leave it at that. You know, we're not suing him. Froggy, if you're let back on, it's not like you're going to make another OnlyFans oh, so joke about that was, um, that was a big revelation because... Um, at the, that was the first time that he had addressed the issue with money in public. Uh, they had given each of their contestants $15,000 for like training expenses during the fight. And uh, he had already spent his because it was already so close to the fight. But they asked him for that money back. And he said no. And there was kind of an indication. I think they implied that they might pursue legal action. But I assume that they contacted like an actual attorney or whatever and asked about if they should pursue legal action. And um, they advised against it. So um, that did not happen. Uh, and that, this is like the first time that he said, we're not, we're not going to be suing Froggy Fresh for the $15,000. Uh, not, I assume not out of the, the generosity of their hearts, but because they realized it would be a bad move. Even if they could get the money back, they probably wouldn't make their any money in the lawsuit, and it would just sour public perception. So they just kind of backtrack on that silently um, without saying too much about it. Froggy respects sex work. But, oh, by the way, this is the, um, the cringiest part of the entire fucking video. Get ready. I don't think Froggy respects sex workers. I think he has some really old, tired opinions about people who do sex work. I think he has uh, a lot of weird opinions as well about masculinity and shit. Ian's masculinity had been completely removed via Anissa. 
a lot of it's not explicitly said, but when you listen to the jokes, it's like, oh, that that's actually just your opinion phrased in a comedic way. There was some type of nerd fight last year, and Chris Reagan and all these people, it's like some big ethot worshiping party at these things. And I don't get it. I don't get what all this shit is all about, but everybody's there to worship me thoughts or fucking e thought or get or like touching e thoughts titty or pussy or, it's always <laughs> that and it's just like what happens is people get all excited about it and i think chris reagan was like he probably thought he was gonna go there and beat some fucking nerd up and be and he was gonna win like i don't know if they're giving i think they give away like only fans with girls there at these events <laughs> i don't know what kind of spot shit going on like if you win certain fights i think you get to own some of these girls for some of the nights <laughs> awesome i don't know how it works but i think chris was like like he had plans i kind of want to skip ahead to this part a couple seconds let that play on too long um i think you should keep going i think the women of the world need to hear your opinions on these things talk more about how look at how he like stares into your eyes and says i know what the women of the world think i know what they think uh, uh sex workers are property that's a funny joke it was it was super funny the third time that you referred to women as property that was the that was the funniest one because when you said lease i was like yeah i know what a lease is even if you didn't do any of the Sam Hyde stuff, why would we want you at our event? Like, if you're just going to blatantly disrespect sex workers and women and, and other fighters saying that they're here to, to touch ethos, like, it is so disrespectful and shitty. I don't want to share the space with you. I, I don't want other people to be uncomfortable because you're there. Like, you, you don't get the vibe, all right? The vibe is sex workers and fighting, I guess. And you don't like the sex workers part. I Just so cringe. And this is why people don't think that he has any agency anymore. Because this is not like... This isn't even like a male feminist take. You know what I mean? Like, if you're a male feminist, you would be against sexual exploitation of women in general. And you would be against pornography. But he's not. He's a very pro-pornography, very pro-sex work. And that's a minority opinion, even among women. But whose opinion would that reflect? It would reflect Anisa's. You don't come... Like, even if you are, like, a general, like, pro-pornography, like, ultra coomer, you're not going to be like, I heckin' respect sex workers. Like, a man who's, like, an ultra coomer is going to look at, like, women as objects if they're in, super into pornography. So the only perspective that he could be reflecting of in this situation is Aniza's and it's altering the way that he interacts with literally everyone. Um, so uh, it's just whores and retards support quote unquote sex work. And that's exactly what Aniza is. Uh, so after all this, uh, we're now like 21 minutes into this. He decides that he's going to go ahead and completely bite the bit when it comes to Sam's gambit with what Sam has been building up to for a while. And he kneels down, head to the to the looking down to the ground on one knee and admits defeat. Page, as a side note, uh, Sam Hyde has made it a habit to uh, try to sound like a reasonable person by saying, if Ian and Anissa just asked, I'll, I'll stop harassing them. Yeah, if you never hit me up and was like, hey man, I just can you leave me alone? I would just, I'd fuck it, I would stop talking about him. Whatever, I don't care that much. If you ask me to stop, I'll stop. Like, uh, which on its face is already an insane thing to say. Of course, no one wants to be harassed. If they let Froggy back on the card, I'll sh I won't, I won't tweet at Ian or uh, Anissa ever again. I'll fucking, I'll shut up forever. How about that? Okay. I get to bring back someone on the card who doesn't respect me, my wife, other fighters, and in return I have the chance of not being harassed by Sam Hyde? Oh man, how can I refuse that? Just so we're on the same page in case I have to make a future video, you heard what Sam Hyde said, if he's a respectable guy, he's not going to continue to harass me, because he says, by his own admission, he doesn't care that much. I don't care that much. This is my request. I would like you to not harass me or my wife or uh, anyone that we're friends with. 
also, harassment encompasses all the little loopholes, all right? You can't just then like refer to me as a goblin and be like, I didn't say his name. I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about a goblin. Uh, that's, not, that's not acceptable. Another thing I So instead of just saying, you said that you would leave me and the people that I care about alone if I asked you to, um, therefore I ask you to fuck off. Instead of just doing that, he does this huge dance around how the request, the, 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 the premise itself is unreasonable. And then he goes on and for whatever reason, again, decides to like create a meme in the same way that he randomly decided to um, make his friend being a rapist a meme. He then declares himself to be a goblin and decides to say that you cannot refer to me as a goblin. Any kind of situation in which you would claim that I am a goblin is not okay. And it's like, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you suddenly declare yourself to be a goblin for no reason? Like, you know that shit's going to, going to stick. I also find it very funny that he uses the exact language not acceptable about how um, uh, calling if Sam had to continue calling him names via proxy by referring to him as a goblin uh, is not acceptable. But Froggy saying that Ian's manipulation of his real life friendships with Sam Hyde is not appropriate was like 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 lame or cringe for him to use that term not appropriate. I found that pretty hypocritical. Um. So then at the very end of this video he actually goes back into strong territory it seems like he kind of like wrote the beginning and the end very very well like scripted it and then just decided to rant like a fucking lunatic for 20 minutes and fill in the middle and so and then but i'll leave it but i'll i'll play out the outro where he's being kind of reasonable again and uh, then how we show you what happens after closing that. Uh, i want to say that creator clash is probably the single best thing that I've ever done in my life. Uh, it has, you know, brought so much joy to me and Anissa. It has brought the most awesome people that I've ever met. It's brought them into my life and I'm super grateful and I want to keep doing it. And this event means so much to me and I'm going to protect it. And I'm going to protect the fighters and the people involved in, in the event. And, uh, you know, I'm not, when it comes to people wanting to fuck around and uh, mess with the vibes, uh, I'm not going to tolerate it. You know, you're going to get kicked from the card if you're being a piece of shit. And uh, if you're not communicating and if you're not cooperating. And uh, I want nothing new with Sam Hyde as well. So uh, fuck that guy. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. What a what a good sign off to this video, all things considered. I hope he doesn't ruin it with something incredibly stupid and petty at the end for no fucking reason. I paid money, I'm on the floor seats, and I see like some shenanigans going down. I take a photo of it, it's just people holding up a sign. It said Froggy did nothing wrong. Like S seemingly innocuous. Yeah, right, right, right. I go to this like after event and Anissa comes up to me. She comes up and says, that tweet was really not cool. And I just apologize. I felt kind of like a bitch. I was like, why the fuck did I apologize? Masculinity had been completely removed via Anissa. What did Rusty Cage ever do to deserve that? Why would he randomly just take a shit on Rusty Cage for apologizing? Let it be known that if you ever apologize to Ian or Anisa, you will be ridiculed for it but for, for some fucking reason. Literally, apropos of nothing, just decided to randomly involve this guy and, and, and call him out and call him a bitch for literally nothing. Um, so... Uh, that being said, I actually felt inspired while taking my notes down for this uh, video to improve it because I, I pointed out a couple things that I felt were his strongest points and I have reduced this 25 minute long video to a two minute long video, two minutes and 11 seconds. And I want to ask you at the end if you think that my version or iDubbbz's version is better. You ready? So I'm going to give you guys the grease. And th this isn't a joke. This is literally how I feel like if you just trimmed out all the retarded like spurging in this video, it would be less shitty. 
So I'm being serious. Is my version better, Chad? I want to know. So I'm going to give you guys the grease and the juice. Uh, and that all has to do with Froggy Fresh. The reason I didn't address any of this sooner is because I was terrified of jeopardizing the success of Creator Clash 2 because there are a lot more people involved in this than just Anissa and I. Uh, and I didn't want to fuck it up for them. These are people that I really care about and I felt like it would be very selfish if I was like, I'm just gonna make a quick 10 minute video and I'll squash all the rumors, I'll squash all the beef. The main reason Froggy was kicked from the card was for collaborating with Sam Hyde. That's, you know, fairly obvious. Uh, Froggy has explained, uh, you know, his side of the story multiple times. He knows why he was kicked from the card and I, I wasn't unclear about that. Anyone who's mentioning the fact that Harley trained with Sam Hyde for the year previous, uh, that was before Sam was saying this about my wife. Fucking Anissa. What an ugly piece of shit. Uh, Sam Hyde has made it a habit to uh, try to sound like a reasonable person by saying, if Ian and Anissa just asked, I'll, I'll stop harassing them. This is my request. I would like you to not harass me or my wife or uh, anyone that we're friends with. If Froggy doesn't fuck with what we got going on, he was going to make it difficult. One way or another, it was going to be difficult. In closing, uh, I want to say that Creator Clash is probably the single best thing that I've ever done in my life. Uh, it has, you know, brought so much joy to me and Anissa. It has brought the most awesome people that I've ever met. It's brought them into my life, and I'm super grateful and I want to keep doing it, and this event means so much to me, and I'm going to protect it when it comes to people wanting to fuck around and uh, mess with the vibes. Uh, I'm not going to tolerate it. You know, you're going to get kicked from the card if you're being a piece of shit, and uh, if you're not communicating, and if you're not cooperating. And uh, I want nothing new with Sam Hyde as well, so... Uh, fuck that guy, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Who did it better, chat? Who did it better? Like, all the, all the me, I, all I did is I cut out all the meandering shit flinging that he did for like the entire video. I have no idea why he decided to make this a 25 minute long video where he like, chooses the form of his, his destructor he decides to sling all this trash at uh froggy fresh he decides to like play i think in this video of 25 minutes there's like two continuous minutes of sam hyde calling anisa a blown out horror <laughs> and he decides to leave all of that in and um and then just randomly take shots at all these other people and humiliates one of his friends for for literally no reason i it's truly one of the worst videos anyone has ever put out for damage control it's actually kind of shocking because when I, I heard that this had come out my initial thought was oh it's going to be like he spent two weeks trying to get this out so it's going to be like the most super tame and thoughtful and super like slick businessy uh, kind of like a video that just addresses everything as like passively as possible for like the few people who give a fuck but like aren't going to do any invest investigation into seeing what the actual issue was uh, it was just like perplexing so overwhelmingly with over 90 percent of the vote with a thousand votes in release the josh cut the better video and i saw that there was some coordinated uh some coordinated trolling in chat to, to vote for ian but even then nobody could stand on the might of my creative genius thank you for watching this clip this is the cac remember to like and subscribe